Hello fashion sewers. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a lapped seam. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. This is a project that I'm working on at the moment and this is what a lapped seam looks like. Um, it has a top stitching effect on the actual seam itself which can be um, for a decorative purpose if you wish. Now you'll actually find lap seams on outer garments such as jackets and coats and you can also find them on um, sportswear and let me just show you what it looks like underneath see there's the seam and it doesn't come open so I'm going to show you how to do that on the sewing machine now here we have a plain seam and um, you need to neaten one side of your seam either one your choice and you also need to cut um, it by uh, 0.5 centimetres, I believe it's about a quarter of an inch, you need to cut one side of those. So I'm going to overlock this side, or neaten it, and I'm going to be trimming that side. And as I said, you can do it either way. So there I have it. So I've neaten that side, and that's going to overlap onto that side. But before I do that, I need to cut this. So let's get that. Cut away. I'm trying to be very straight here. Let's see if I can do it. Yay! There we have it. Okay, and then I'm going to put this over the cut edge. So I'm working on the wrong side of the garment, and then when I take it to the sewing machine, I'm going to be stitching it that way. Okay, and I'm going to get as close to yet possible if, if you wish, or it could be further away. It's all about the effect that you actually want to create on the um, outside of your garment. Now I'm working on the wrong side of the garment, just showing you what the seam looks like. So I've neaten one edge, and um, the, the other one is uh, cut. And I'm going to be turning the neaten edge over the cut edge and then you press that into place and then I'm going to be stitching the setting, second lot of stitching on the right side of the garment so I will place my foot roughly about here and remember you can always use the seam line as a guide to keep it as straight as possible so I'm just going to do my stitches a little bit big just for this demonstration and I won't back tack because you know already how to do that keep that going and as I've said this is a really good seam for outer garments such as jackets and coats and sportswear and it's also a seam that you can also find on jeans it's it's a bit more involved than this but it's a variation on this and it's huge reason because the reason is because of its strength it's a very strong seam just trim that there trim that there and there you have your lat seam and then that's what it looks like on the right side the wrong side so that's the wrong side and that's your right side and that is a lapped seam i've just demonstrated the lapped seam i hope you found it useful and if you want to view any more of my uh, videos you'll find them on my youtube channel which is fashion sewing blog tv and i'll see you in my next video